Hello there, this is Carlo. Welcome to another quick tutorial. Um, I've got to just quickly show you how to create something in Maya, uh, bring it into real flow, um, and then back into Maya to create some um, liquid movement um, and interaction. So, yes, uh, to give you a little example, let's just go to my desktop and I've uh, got a little demo here of a guy uh, just knocked up, and obviously he's fighting he's interacting with the liquid floor and it's interacting with him as well so that's the sort of rough thing we're going to be doing today but for the sake of this tutorial I'm just going to use um, a ball so first things first let's create uh, let's go and create a let's create a sphere right I'm just going to make us feel like that now obviously while I'm doing this do remember you know if you've got real flow you are going to need the Maya plugin for that um, so remember that so I'm just going to uh, bring that into position and I want to just do a little bit of animation with this um, like that. And let's just bring this to here to the end of the thing and let's just rotate that doesn't matter which way and let's press S on the keyboard for there. So we've just got a little bit of a movement. Let's hit S on the keyboard again. Uh, bring that to the end. And just bring it straight across. And stop it there. And S again. Okay. So we've just got a little bit of a sort of rolling uh, ball there. Nothing special. And we're just going to create some liquid on the floor but we're going to use uh, we'll flow to do that okay so once you've done that we're going to come up to this icon here um, if you don't know obviously when you've installed your real flow plugin uh, to Maya um, your, your connection point obviously you'll get this menu here when you click on real flow so I'm going to click on SD uh, I'm going to give this a name and let's just call this uh, ball oh book Oh, can't see my keyboard. Right, okay, we'll call that ball. And then we're going to click on exported, export deformation. Uh, I'm going to click on this icon and I'm just going to save it as ball. Uh, SD, and I'm going to click on export. And then I'm going to export it and it's just going to render preview it as we click export. So that's just done that for me. Right, so now I'm gonna hide Maya for the time being and I'm gonna start a new project in RealFlow. I'm gonna call this test and then I'm gonna click on create. And the uh, operations of uh, RealFlow, the commands, very similar to um, Maya, so that's pretty cool. So I'm gonna come up to import, click on objects and then I'm gonna go to my desktop and find my SD file, my ball.sd. Uh, which I created in my and I'll just click on open and as you can see it's brought it uh, directly into uh, real flow okay cool so I'm gonna bring that back to the beginning and I'm just gonna scale this out a bit and I'm gonna come up to the surface tab uh, and I'm gonna click on that and it's gonna give me my first uh, bit of uh, liquid and all I'm going to do with this is uh, I'm just going to move it over here and then I'm just going to scale that sucker right up like so. I'm going to come to the side guys and I'm just going to make sure that when my ball moves it has contact with the water. So I'm just going to bring this down slightly because I don't want it too much contact. So that's cool. So let's just bring that back to the beginning and let's click on simulate and let the simulation for that run. And as you can see, if you look very, very carefully, we've got some uh, movement already. So we'll wait for that to complete. And then we will move to bring it back into Maya. So that's nearly done. Oh, 
Okay, so that is complete. As you can see, we've got some movement in there. Very, very subtle. So what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to come up to Export. Come down to Export Central. And uh, we just need to change a few things here. So I'm going to open this tab here, RealFlow01. Um, and I'm going to click on... I want to add surface deformation. And I'm going to click on this one here. Uh, bin. That should be okay. Then click Done. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the simulation again. So click Yes. And just run the simulation again. If I go really close, you might see some um, movement where the ball hits there. Can you see the ripples? You won't sort of really see it until it's uh, uh, sort of rendered out. But you sort of get where we're going with this. And obviously you can use this technique for boats, stuff like that. Um, whatever your heart desires, really. Whatever your creative mind can think of. So I'm just going to pull out of there. You can see the streak of water there, which looks quite nice. And I'm going to wait for this to complete the process. It should be done very, very soon. Nearly done, guys. Okay, okay, so that is complete now. So what we're going to do, we're going to leave that be. Um, I'm going to jump back into Maya. And I'm going to come up to my bin file here. And as you can see, you know, in your folder, you know, your real flow scenes and stuff like that, it's created a complete, like, PNG, like, complete sequence. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit bin 1, and I'm going to click Load. Um, and then I'm going to click on create um, as you can see it's loaded my um, my real flow texture uh, straight into Maya so when I play we're going to get interaction as you can see and if I just show you if I bring that oh, let's just stop the timeline bring that here here, so here, um, let's hit six on the keyboard, and let's just have a quick look at the render. I've got no light, so let's see how we fare up. Um, so yeah, um, as you can see, uh, we've got some interaction uh, with the ball um, and the surface um, in you know real time um, interaction, um, and that's basically technique you'd use to you know work Maya uh, with real flow. So yeah, that's pretty pretty straightforward. Um, and all you would do is render that sucker out um, and do what you will with it. So there you go, guys. We have just created something, a little bit of animation in Maya. Pulled it over to RealFlow. Done a bit of liquid animation and brought it back into Maya for a final render. So guys, listen, I hope this has helped and you found this useful. Um, and you've enjoyed it always remember to please subscribe if you're not a subscriber or give this a thumbs up um i do appreciate all the support and i will see you guys very soon in the next video thanks a lot guys ciao ciao